It's Sandra Jansen with the WPT Royal Flush crew. We are here at Thunder Valley Casino and Resort for WPT's Rolling Thunder. So here at Thunder Valley, there's two people you may know very well. Ben Irwin and Matt Savage. Let's see what they're up to on the floor. Well, if you look at the numbers year over year, we're mm -hmm. actually number one. For one day. Yeah. Tiny day, yeah. Good. He was a top How are you, buddy? I'm doing good massage. I don't mind. I'm happy to give you a massage anytime. Anytime. Right. Opening another table. Keep on coming. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Hey, you heard about this guy? I heard about him. Yeah, yeah. I heard he's a golf hustler. Golf hustler. I heard he wears his golf club to Top Golf. He does. He actually brought his own clubs before. A lot of Champions Club members and a lot of locals. That's what I like to see. Yeah. I like to see the recreational players and the satellite winners. Satellite winners are the uh, most important part of every tournament, in my opinion. Definitely agree. So good job on that, Ben. $350 bottle of wine. No, I got a good one. I'll, I'll get you a good one. I'll get you a good one. I'm very good. I'm very expensive. That I know already. I know that. Did you get thank you socks? I didn't get any thank you socks. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, though. Yeah. I don't think those are my style, but... You ever had a pair of thank you socks before? I've been given socks before. Not I. This level. The thank you socks. Solid. Yeah. Feel good, too. Changes the attitude a little bit, you know? I have, to, I have to wash my own socks. Wow. Okay guys, so I am here with Ben Irwin and Matt Savage, and I'm gonna ask them a couple questions. They have no idea what I'm gonna ask, so we're just gonna have fun with this. Okay, Ben, so how did you guys meet? It's uh, known Matt a long time, but started becoming closer with him about 10 years ago now. And uh, typically, how it first started was we were doing things here, and uh, people would say, Ben, I'm not 100% sure that's exactly how you should be doing it. So then my phone would ring, and it would be Matt, and he would say, hey, check this out, what are you doing? Here's how you're doing it going forward. So that's how it started, and then uh, that relationship just grew as we got in with the WPT and started building events together and that kind of thing. What's your um, most memorable experience together? <laughs> Those early days, you know, uh, when Ben would say that he was doing something one way, and I would tell him, no, nope, you can't do it that way. We actually met before that when I was working at the LA Poker Classic, but uh, I think he forgets that. And welcome back, by the way, to the uh, WPT family. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to be back. Who is the better poker player? So I would probably say me. More creativity, um, you know, a little more intellect, but Matt definitely has that persona. So if you saw us, you'd probably say, oh wow, it's probably Matt, and that's the way it should be. So you believe he's the one, but I'm probably the one you want to put your money behind. What do you have to say to that? Well, it depends on the game. I think if it was a limit game, I would be much better than him. Uh, no limit, probably better than him as well, but you know, he uh, has a lot of confidence in himself, which is good. You need that when you play poker. Who is the better golfer? Well, that one's easy. I'm a better golfer. Not a lot better, but I am better. And uh, he looks good, though. He looks good when he's out there, but he's not good. He's definitely not good. Wow. Shay, do you agree with that? So to a certain degree. Uh, but during his, uh, his 50th birthday, we were down in Cabo. We play a, a scramble. And so I actually played up because that's what I do. I play up for people. And in fact, I'm the reason why we won. So Matt played well, but I played out of my mind. And so Matt could actually give me the credit for a memory on his 50th birthday that can never be taken away from him. Winning that scramble, me carrying the team. Funniest question, any pet peeves while working together? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, you know what, we have a good time. We have a good time. A uh, pet peeve for me would just be when he tries to be a tournament director. <laughs> And goes, oh! and goes to the table and makes a decision, and then I have to go back and clean it up afterwards. But, you know, that's not a bad thing. You know, he tries. I want him to try and do those things. So, yeah, just cleaning up after his messes. But, you know, I enjoy it. It's, it's part of the job, and, you know, everybody respects Ben, so it, it, it works out fine. And so these messes he speaks of, typically it's a level of creativity. So there's the book, and then there's also taking a situation and looking at that and assessing not only player interest, but house interest, and really what's the best thing for the game. And that actually is something he instilled in me. Very black and white, you know, if you would have came here 10 years ago, but that creativity, I have ran with that. And there's been some amazing decisions I made that people, when they first look at it, they would say, wait a minute. But then you know what? They look and they say, you acted on the best interest of all parties concerned. Not everyone has that vision, and that might be the one thing where I'm taking Matt to that next level. 
Okay guys, well there you have it. Loving this relationship from these two. And we'll see you guys later. For more information, check out WBT.com. Non-stop poker action at home or on the go. Sign up today at ClubWPT.com or you'll never lose a dime playing poker, guaranteed.